Measuring tapes help us measure distances and the dimensions of different objects. But a measuring tape doesn't work in every situation. Why isn't there a single tool that lets us measure everything? Now, there is. Introducing Bagel, the smart tape measure. Bagel lets you measure just about anything, at home and at work. Bagel has three different modes. String mode, wheel mode, and remote mode. String mode is great for measuring straight lines, curves, and around corners. Wheel mode lets you measure irregular or odd-shaped objects. And it also makes taking measurements with one hand much easier. Remote mode lets you measure objects that are far away and out of your reach. After you're done measuring, you'll need a way to record your measurements. Using pen and paper can be a real hassle. With Bagel, you can quickly and easily save your measurements with voice descriptions. Just take your measurement, push the save button, and then tag a voice memo to it. Dorf the future radar. When you're done, Bagel will send your measurements to Bagel's mobile app via Bluetooth. This mobile application lets you review your saved measurements and share them with your friends. Bagel is precise. It uses our patented technology to make sure you always get an accurate measurement. Also, Bagel has an easy-to-read digital display that's viewable in most lighting conditions. In the past few years, all sorts of measuring devices have become smarter and made our lives easier. Smart scales, smart thermometers, and even smart watches. But when it comes to measuring size, we still use a tape measure which is more than a century old. Why don't we innovate the way we measure size? So we created Bagel, a smart tape measure. We put a lot of effort into creating Bagel. Our team worked night and day to make the best quality product with this friendly design. We have our final prototype that is ready for mass production. Now we need your help to deliver this amazing product to everyone. Please help us bring this bagel to life. Thank you. Size matters. Bagel. There are two verbs that describe what a plane does. There's flying, and there's flying. Meet Power Up Dart, a paper airplane that's not just flying, it's flying. This is Shai, a pilot, industrial designer, and inventor. Shai loves everything airborne. Four years ago, he was challenged by a friend to create a smartphone-controlled paper airplane. Shai accepted the challenge and created Power Up 3, the first ever smartphone-controlled paper airplane. Then, two years ago, that same friend challenged him to put a camera on the plane. So Shai created Power Up FPV, the first ever smartphone-controlled paper airplane with a streaming camera. Shai's friend looked at those creations and said, Cool, but you can't make a paper plane that can do a loop and a barrel roll and then stall turn? Then Shai stopped his friend before he hyperventilated and said, Challenge accepted. Now, after a year of prototyping and testing, it's here. Power Up Dart, the first ever smartphone controlled paper airplane that can do aerobatics. Yes, other planes can fly, but they can't loop or barrel roll or fly vertically. Dart can. It is incredible. And it is small. Just take a piece of paper, fold it into a plane, attach the module, download the app, and tell your friends G-Force got nothing on you. You're an aerobatics pilot now. Power Up Dart gets its incredible aerobatic capability from the high thrust to weight ratio and unique shape of the plane. Despite being so incredible, flying the Dart is easy and intuitive. Move the phone to any direction and the wings will follow. When you start, the plane goes to 70% of its throttle, so you can fly it like a regular plane. But press the boost button and you give the plane that extra kick that transforms it into a flying monster. A small flying monster. 
PowerApp's Bluetooth module easily charges through its micro USB port. And the entire thing is made of carbon fiber and nylon, so it's nearly indestructible. Dart invites you to make many planes in many shapes, because every plane brings with it new tricks, and with them, new gasps for air. Try 5, 10, 50 planes, then fly them all together. Make a real show, arrange dogfights, break every barrier previously set by less incredible planes. And this little bugger is so cool, it can even fly around the office. Yeah, you just sent a love note through a smartphone control paper airplane. You have lived. Power Up Dart is ready for production, so if you want to fly aerobatics with the most incredible of all incredible planes, back Power Up Dart and start flying. Let's talk about taking the perfect photo. First, compose the shot. Check the histogram, adjust the exposure, focus on your subject. Compute the hyperfocal distance to keep everything sharp, enable bracketing to get more dynamic range, add a neutral density filter, update the exposure, and then take the shot. We built a better way. Today's DSLR and mirrorless cameras have amazing optics and sensors, but they do very little to actually help you take a good photo. Finding the right settings involves a series of complex techniques and formulas. As an engineer with a background in artificial intelligence, I knew I could build a tool to simplify the process. I wanted something that would let me focus on the composition, but would handle the details for me. So I created Arsenal, the world's first AI photography assistant. With one tap, Arsenal finds settings to take the best photo possible. Arsenal's AI searches thousands of images in its database to suggest good settings. Next, it fine-tunes the suggestions by analyzing 18 different factors. Arsenal uses state-of-the-art machine learning to help you take a great photo in any condition. Many of the memorable shots you see today are captured by combining multiple exposures through a labor-intensive process called photo stacking. With Arsenal, you can do this in seconds. Capture all the details in scenes with high dynamic range, get everything in sharp focus, and create long exposures without buying expensive filters. Using these advanced techniques, Arsenal lets you go beyond the limitations of your camera's sensor or lens. For times when you want complete control, you can wirelessly adjust manual settings, see a live preview, and trigger the shutter, all from up to 100 feet away. Arsenal also improves the experience of reviewing photos in the field. You can flip through the photos on your camera, zoom in to check out details at full resolution, then share your favorite photos right from your phone. And finally, Arsenal makes it easy to capture stunning time lapses. It automatically adjusts the exposure in changing light, giving you a smooth day to night transition. You can even watch a high def preview of your time lapse while it's being taken. Whether you're a pro who has already mastered manual shooting or you just bought your first DSLR, Arsenal can help take your photography to the next level. So before you replace your gear, try upgrading your technique with Arsenal. Arsenal is already being tested in the field. Now, I need your help to ramp up production. By supporting our campaign today, you can be one of the first to get Arsenal. We've got exclusive rewards for our early backers and some awesome stretch goals in the works. I'm really excited about the photos I've been getting with Arsenal. I can't wait to share it with you and see all the amazing photos you'll create.
I'm David. And I'm Eric. And three years ago, we came to you, to Kickstarter, and told you about our dream to make a low-cost underwater robot. We wanted to make underwater exploration accessible to everybody. A lot has happened in the past three years. We've shipped thousands of these robots to 50 countries, every continent. And most importantly, we've built this community of people who are obsessed with pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So for the last three years, we've been working on how to make underwater exploration tools the right way. And what we've come up with is something we are extremely excited to announce. This is the Trident. At OpenROV, we believe that exploration is not just about gathering data, but also about experiencing new worlds in a new way. We've designed Trident to be extremely fun to fly. Most ROVs, they move up and down slowly. They go left and right, forward and reverse. Trident is nothing like that. It flies like an airplane. It speeds along. You can bank. You can dive. It's fun to fly. It goes fast when you want it to, but it can slow down and be precise when you have something you want to inspect. Getting video from underwater has always been a challenge because radio waves don't travel through water. So we've developed a very lightweight, neutrally buoyant tether, which communicates the video feed from the ROV up to the surface. That attaches to a wireless buoy, which allows you to control the ROV from any Wi-Fi connected device, like a tablet, a laptop, or even a VR device like an Oculus Rift or a Google Cardboard. We wanted an ROV that could go to places that no ROV had been before. So we designed it to be ultra portable, whether you're hiking to high alpine lakes or you're bringing this as carry-on luggage. It goes wherever you go. Most ROVs are designed to look in specific places where you already know where the target is, but we've realized that a lot of people want to explore with an ROV. We've designed Trident to be extremely hydrodynamic and excellent at going in long, straight lines. This allows you to do lawnmower patterns, being able to broadly explore a place that you've never seen before and find out what's there. We've seen community members take this model and create 3D visualizations of the seafloor. Using technologies like photogrammetry and structure from motion, we hope that we can help create maps of the underwater world that will allow us to see it in a completely new light. I joined this project when it was the initial Kickstarter, and I did it because it was going to be a chance to take this hardware, these robots, and I was going to be able to use my software skills to actually program them and have them do stuff underwater. I've been using that to build a platform now that lets other software geeks like myself contribute and help programmers to find ways to control robots. We've made a plug-in architecture that allows you to add your own components, add new sensors, new technology to an ROV after it's already been developed and out in the field. The OpenROV software, it's bigger than any single ROV. It's opening the door to services and technologies that we're just now scratching the surface of. From mapping, to autonomous computer control, to imaging reefs and, and underwater shipwrecks in 3D. We're going to be able to send this data and utilize cloud computing, mesh networking, and all kinds of future technologies to make it available to everybody. So whether you're a fisherman, a researcher, a recreational boater, or just someone who's curious about what's below the surface, this is the tool for you. So here we are. We've spent the last four years developing underwater robots, and we've never been more excited about the project we have now. To get to the next level, to bring Trident to life, we need your help. So check out the reward levels, let us know what you think, and together, let's build the future of underwater exploration. Thank you.